I'm gonna put you inside a black hole with zero zeros in on all those zeros and see if you can survive. So, first, you're extremely close to the singularity right now. So, guess what? You're dead. Yup. Actually, you'll die so extremely fast that you won't feel any pain at all because your brain wouldn't have even time to send signals to your nerves or organs. But this video will be boring if I just say you'll die. So let's see what happens before you die or you might even have some chance of life. Let's see that. So we would have two case scenarios here. The first one is according to general relativity that says that close to the singularity, the space-time curvature becomes infinite, meaning gravity will crush you to a single point of zero volume and infinite density. So, in fancy terms, you're dead. <laughs> but what if we would have a second approach to this problem? That's where quantum mechanics come into the play. So basically it says that you don't have a singularity. Uh, well, that's the exact opposite of what Einstein's work tells you, which is absolutely crazy. Oh well, this theory says that all your info is stored in the event of horizons. So basically, the inside is a projection of the outside. But what exactly does that mean, right? Well, think of it in this way. In the same way a 2D character cannot see a 3D character, you as a 3D character can see the 2D character until you are in a 3D world. But for the 2D character, your presence will be invisible. It doesn't have the senses to interact with you. But if you were to come to the 2D world as a 3D character, that 2D guy can see you. But you will be reshaped according to that limitation of dimensions. So this makes the 3D character like no real, like a holograph. That's why this principle is called the holographic principle which is the most acceptable thing we have today related to black holes and quantum mechanics. But the reality here is that we don't have yet a theory to explain these type of things, so we don't know 100% what would happen inside a singularity. We don't, know, we don't even know yet if we would have a singularity at all. The only thing we know for sure is that 